everybody, and welcome to Nomadic Flamingos episode What's up? number three. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> we are Mireya and Anthony. <laughs> and we make up Nomadic Flamingos. So today we're going to talk a little bit about our last little trip to Washington, D.C. We had a pretty good time in Washington, D.C. Uh, we stayed at Cherry Hill RV Park. Um, it's in Maryland and with the drive and with the metro it took us about 40 minutes to get into town so it wasn't too bad no matter. Um, we wish we had some footage to show you the lovely RV park which was wonderful and had amazing amenities but to be quite we honest we have nothing we have nothing because <laughs> we spent most of the time going and sightseeing so we really didn't spend a lot of time in the park and the time that we did spend in the park we um did laundry so that's about it and you don't want video of us doing laundry no so let's move on okay so the first day that we arrived at the RV park we didn't really do anything because we arrived way too late by the time we got there we were so tired that we just turned in early and the next day we got what I thought was an early start but it wasn't <laughs> really wasn't we were exhausted so it does take us a little longer to get ourselves moving now so eventually we did get up and get out and we got a, um, a smart trip card which is like a metro card and we charged it up and we drove to a station nearby and then from that station we took the metro rail right yep okay once we got left off at the archives um, station for the metro which is the easiest metro station and one way in and one way out only um, we walked over to the National Mall on the side where the Capitol and the Washington Monument face each other. Um, and we walked down to the Washington Monument and took in the sights. We did not have timed entry tickets to that monument, but I think you can get them. I tried, but no luck. So we walked around the area and grabbed something from a food truck, which there's tons of food trucks. And then we realized we needed to be at Ford's Theater. At what time? The show is set for what, two o'clock. Yeah. And uh, it took us about it's supposed to take you about twenty minutes to get there, and it was about a quarter to two. So what we did was we rented bikes. They have a bike share program, very much like our bike share program in South Florida. And we rented bikes. It was two dollars for thirty minutes. You could rent for a whole day. It's eight dollars but you can only do it in 30 minute increments. So we rented it for 30 minutes <laughs> and we moseyed our way over to Ford's Theater and we did make it in time with no issue. There was a drop off point right next to the theater. So I'll do it. about timed entry tickets let's so the Smithsonian museums are all timed entry tickets um, this may or may not work out for you but it did not work out for us no after Lincoln's theater we had timed entry tickets for the Smithsonian Natural History Museum for 3 p.m. so we arrived on time and, and it was good. I mean, it was uh, the, the exhibit. They had everything that was really cool. Yeah, the exhibitions were really neat, but we only saw about 
a quarter of the first floor before we were told that the museum was closing at four. So if you have a 3 p.m. ticket, there is no time after that. They give you only an hour. You have an hour. If anyone's ever been to a museum, you know an hour is never enough. But that said, it's absolutely beautiful. And once it opens up again, we will surely make our way back here again. Oh yeah. Um, this time we took the same way as before to get into the city so nice and early yeah we did go out very early that day and um, we took the same route we got into a train station uh, Fort Totten station we drove over there from the RV park and then we took the metro into town and got let off at the archive same stop except this time instead of walking around what we did was we took the circulator bus okay, the circulator, circulator bus. bus this is fantastic the best um if you're not familiar with the circulator when you come the circulator is completely free and it drives all the way around the national mall so we were able to get dropped off at the lincoln memorial and then from there, mm. after we went to the Lake of Incredible. Yeah. Oh it my was. God, I think it was incredible. After we checked that out, we walked down to the Korean War Memorial. Then from there, we crossed and went to Vietnam, Vietnam War Memorial. And then we walked around to the World War II War Memorial. Then around to the DC Memorial. Then around that, and crossed the street over to the MLK Memorial. And then we sat by the Tidal Basin and overlooked the Jefferson Memorial. So you could say we got our fair share in that one day. I mean, but like I said, you're, you're at the mall. For those of you that haven't been here before, there's three grassy spots. And like she said, you have Capitol Hill on one side, you have Monument on the other, and all these in between. So as you're walking all the way around, as you're jogging, as you're riding your bike, as you're doing whatever it is, walking your dog, cat whatever Your cat. but yeah but it's all there yeah we've seen a bunch of people walking their cats daytime in um, <laughs> in the RV park doing laundry because we, we always have to do our laundry of course um, but later on that day we did get to meet up with some old friends of ours Missy and Tony Roque and their absolutely brilliant daughter Reese and um, we met at a bar called the Dirty Habit in the Mo Hotel Monaco Hotel Monaco which is beautiful and um, we had a few drinks there and then um, ended up at the District Chop, Chop House, House, which is the oldest continuous brewery in DC. And we had more drinks there. Yeah, we didn't have beer though. <laughs> no, but we had more <laughs> drinks there. 
was fun. <laughs> it was Tony and Missy. It was fun. So we had a great time, and I think we just committed to doing uh, the Camino in 2023. So hopefully we'll have that story in a few years. That was going to be awesome. Life is good. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.